the great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Let me start off by saying this was a mistake, or should I say this was a mistake on how they did this. So let's first start off on the announcement that happened yesterday. I wanted to take a little bit to process what really happened. And maybe also get a little bit of sleep because I was on a 16 hour shift. But I would say on September 23rd, this was as catastrophic as Magic 30. And that seems kind of wild because that was pretty nuts. But I am getting way too ahead of myself. What cards were banned in Commander? Well, Dockside Extortionist was banned, Jeweled Lotus, Mana Crypt, and Nadu Winged Wisdom. And the rules committee did give their own statements on why they did ban these cards. I'm not gonna go over that necessarily in this video because you've probably seen 100 videos already breaking that down specifically. But I will say this does lead to one thing, whether or not you proxy these cards or if you own these cards. I personally think that consumer confidence was broken. And maybe I am a little biased because I do own these cards specifically. It's unfortunate, for example, Mana Crypt, this is one of my favorite arts that I've seen in a while. It's unfortunate that it's banned and I can't play it anymore in my community commander decks and of course I am gearing towards CDH when I'm talking about these cards specifically because I feel like in casual a lot of people have rule zeroed it out and I have never seen any of these cards in a casual game but in CDH this really does hurt because I do play a lot of these different cards and it really makes me wonder if I should just get rid of my whole entire collection because they did discuss at length Mana Crypt and Jeweled Lotus being fast starts in the commander format where it kind of takes people way ahead and it makes me think to myself what's next Mana Vault, Chrome Mox, Mox Opal, and I don't necessarily think these are going to get banned. However, it just gets me wondering what's the point of owning all these cards that are worth over $100 if they get banned overnight like these ones. And this does bring me to my next point. Typically, the rules committee will discuss what cards are on their radar like Dockside Extortionist and Nadu Winged Wisdom. However, everyone was caught off guard overnight, including myself when Mana Crypt and Jeweled Lotus was banned. And this just brings my question, where was the announcement that that was on their radar? Because a lot of people have lost a lot of money on this. I know some people who proxy don't care necessarily, but me as a collector, this does worry me a little bit. It could just be me personally because I own these cards. I'm a little salty that they absolutely lost their value. I think I lost what like $1,600 overnight. So it's not necessarily that they banned them because I do think some are deserving of the bans like Nadu Winged Wisdom, which is essentially just like a paradox engine where it really just drags out the game. And I do understand Dockside Extortionist because they did mention it earlier in the year, but just a ban Mana Crypt and Jeweled Lotus is kind of ridiculous a overnight thing where a lot of people lost a lot of money I want to say like millions of dollars have been lost overnight because of this I mean if you just look at TCG player alone there's numerous examples of this just going all the way down so this is overall my opinion if you have a different opinion let me know down below in the comments but I do believe there are some serious implications for this ban probably the biggest ban in Magic the Gathering's history when it comes to Commander the fact that three cards over a hundred dollars just vanished and poof it's been basically nothing just a coaster that you could use or a bookmark really flows the salt into a lot of different players minds but I would say that this irreversibly damaged a lot of people buying into Magic the Gathering because why buy into it when a hundred dollar card could go into a two dollar card of course that is my opinion some opinions may differ I know a lot of people do proxy and I actually do proxy myself because I feel like you can't really play CDH without proxying unless you want to break your bank and honestly if anything else this encourages people to proxy a lot more than not because why go ahead and pay hundreds of dollars for cards when eventually they're just going to lose their value and you just wasted a bunch of money buying it? If I was Wizards of the Coast, I'd be absolutely furious on this ban and I would probably do something about them if I were them. And I'm not necessarily saying that they should take over the commander format because I feel like that would probably do more damage than good. But I would ask him to put some kind of statement out because three cards were absolutely huge hitters for a lot of different sets. For example, like Double Masters, Lost Caverns of Ixalan, and Commander Masters. Which also brings me to speculate some shady business with the festival in the box where they had two booster packs, one from Lost Caverns of Ixalan and one from Commander Masters. It's almost like their last attempt to sell those packs before nobody buys them anymore because there's no chase cards. But I would say the ones that took the biggest hit were the ones that were in the CDH community. Of course, I'm part of that because I love playing CDH myself. To me, I felt CDH was pretty healthy with the diversity of its format specifically. And all these cards really just helped out jankier strategies. For example, Atali Primal Conqueror, which was 
was a tournament grinding deck and you got other ones that are big mana like attracts a grand unifier and now that mana crypt and jewel lotus are gone a lot of these janky decks rest in peace are not going to be as viable compared to the top hitters honestly the top hitters really didn't get affected that much if you talk about tim necrom kinnon rogsai all these ones haven't really been affected that much then there were some other decks that basically got nuked like corvold fakers king which is basically just a dockside deck and you got some other ones that utilize combos with dockside like emil the blessed or team or saber tooth or cloud stone curio those cards are obsolete now so i do feel like these bands did more damage than good obviously for the casual sense of the commander format i don't think they were really affected at all because a lot of people rule zero them out anyways they had a discussion and most of all i don't even think people even think about putting these in casual decks in the first place i know it's easier said for me because i did own these cards and i am a little salty not gonna lie but just the fact that they just outright banned a lot of these cards again i do understand dockside and nadu being banned because they were mentioned previously but the other two jeweled lotus and a mana crypt were such iconic cards in the commander format and just for them to just go away makes it a little salt inducing for me and probably a lot of other players so that is all i'm going to talk about the subject i usually don't like to discuss negativity on this channel because this is a deck building channel but i couldn't help myself because i feel like this is a topic that needs to be discussed with basically every commander player that exists because this affects a wide margin of players including the cdh community but i would love to hear your thoughts make sure to comment down below what are your thoughts also if you can hit that like button and subscribe and with that out of the way thank you for stomping by